Now that we have our network configuration in place, we can add our first device. Second option, devices. As I told you before, I have here a PySense with a low Pi 4 and I'm going to add in the traditional way, that is via USB. But you also have the option to do it via PyBytes mobile application. We have a version for Android and for iOS. Let's go via traditional way. Let's select our device type, low Pi 4. Let's enable the network. In this interface, we can select more than a possible network and we can change the connection order. What does it mean? If I go like this, first the device is going to try to connect via Wi-Fi and then LoRa. But at this moment, I go only with Wi-Fi. Let's go next. Let's enter with the device name. We have something here as default. And let's select the Wi-Fi option. Let's save. And here we go. This is our device. And now what we need to do is activate the device. We have here two options. We can do it via firmware updater or we can do it with the primary care plugin for Atom or Visual Studio. Let's do it with the firmware updater because I'm also going to flash the firmware. So this is PyCon firmware updater. Let's force update PyBytes registration. Let's enter with the activation code. And here I'm not going to the latest firmware option because I need to show you a pretty nice feature that we have in PyBytes. Let's go with one before. And in a couple seconds, we are going to be able to see that our device is connected and changing data with the PyBytes platform. So we are almost there. Okay, cool. It's done. Let's wait a bit more. And hopefully we are going to see the last connection here. Good. This is the firmware version and we are connected. Once we are connected, we can start to explore tab per tab here. In the dashboard, we have an overview about where the device is. Here we have the device location. Now you know where I am in PyCon Office in the beautiful Eindhoven. And here we can also have an overview about the data that the device is exchanging with PyBytes. Let's do a test. Let's exchange some data and let's see if something is going to change here. Here we have six bytes exchanged. Let's use PyMaker to send some data to PyBytes. We have this command, PyBytes, send signal. We put a signal here, one, we put something, test. And we send. And we can see that, okay, PyBytes had received some more data here. And if we send more data, we can see more data coming. Here in the dashboard, you also can reorganize the information as you want. Let's save like this. It's a bit messy, but doesn't matter. It's just to demonstrate the functionality. And let's go to the signal. So we were sending some signals here. We can define this signal. 
we can define signal one, the name is test, no unit, and that is it. This is my signal. Let's send a test two right here. And test two, it's here in PyBytes. Pretty cool. About the provisional tab, provisioning tab we just talked about. And we also have a notification tab that is very nice and very useful where we can create alerts. For example, we can create an alert that is the last seen alert where I can tell PyBytes, please warn me if my, my device stops to send data for longer than one minute. And if these alerts happen, you are going to have some notifications right here. Hopefully, we are going to see some stuff happening and some stuff being updated right here. The next step is the PyMaker. PyMaker is one of the cases where we have some dedicated videos showing in more details about all the functionalities and how does it work. But basically here in PyBytes, you can open PyMaker and you can start to code right here. You can deploy code, you can connect to GitHub project. It's very useful, very easy. You don't need Atom, you can do everything here in the PyBytes platform. And just to make a test, here we have the same functionality. So what I was doing here in the Atom, I'm going to do here in the PyBytes. Let's do the test number three. And let's send signal. Oops, syntax error, cool. It really works. Yeah, I send a signal. Let's see the result. Let's go back to PyBytes. Let's go back to the device. Let's go back to signal. Yeah, and here we go, test three. As I told you, in the playlist, we have a dedicated video talking a bit more about PyMaker. Please check. It's pretty cool. You can code here in PyBytes. It can be really useful if you don't have your environment in hand, if you need to do a quick change, or if you just want to code a full solution, you can do here using PyMaker online. Let's go back. And the last tab is the configuration tab. Here you can do stuff like you can change your device name. You can save. You can change how your device is going to connect. Now we are using a Wi-Fi connection, but we can use also a LoRa, or we can change the order right here. Let's keep like this, but it's good to know that you can change and you can also deploy this configuration over there. What does it mean? If you have your device connected to the Wi-Fi, you can click here and deploy this configuration in the device. So this new configuration is going to be saved in the device and the device is going to reconnect using this new configuration. Yay, we have a notification here. Do you remember our alert? So more than a minute without having any signal of the device and here we have the notification. Let's continue here in the configuration and the other nice feature that we have here in PyBytes. You can go to the latest firmware version over there. So if I have the device connected to the Wi-Fi, I can flash the firmware online. So right now we have this version and we want to go to the latest. We can update and this update takes 
around 30 seconds, but it can take a bit more depending on your network speed. And this over there uh, features the deploy configuration or the firmware update you can do using a Wi-Fi connection or an LTE connection. So let's wait a bit more and in a couple seconds we are going to have this guy in the latest firmware version. Yeah, here we go. We are in the latest version. We are connected and we are good to see what else we have here in PyBytes. Basically, this is what I have to show you about the device platform, management platform. Pretty nice stuff right here. We have a dedicated video about PyMaker and in the next video we are going to talk about integrations, data integration.